have passed since we last saw the Decepticons. Despite our best efforts, Megatron and his army have evaded us. Some of our human allies believe the Decepticons have fled the Earth, defeated. I wish that were true. They remain here. Hiding. Watching. Waiting. So what's up guys, this is DJ Naruto85 and I'm giving you a do Dark of the Moon walkthrough. And this game was pretty disappointing. It was a fail, but the story mode was pretty good. I really like the story mode, it was pretty cool to me. The story mode was okay, probably the best thing out of the game, the story was alright. But the multiplayer sucked But like the multiplayer just sucked. But the game... Uh, I probably wasn't thinking. I was just all excited of it because of the like the um the scenes they showed in trailers and stuff. Like it looked sick and awesome. But then when you get the game, it's like, what is this? But the graphics are okay. You no, know, it's just the map suck. The graphics looks kind of baby and so good. Like it really wasn't trying on like making the map look kind of realistic. But the gameplay is kind of good. You know, and yeah. But like I was saying, this game probably could have been better. They probably would have tried if this game started when the movie starts off. Like, it starts when Sam, when stuff, you know, gotta protect Sam, blah, blah, blah. Don't be coming back to Sam. If it would have started when the movie starts, it probably would have been better because they probably would have had to try hard on the graphics and the scenes. Because the movie had so many epic scenes, like when Optimus killed the, um, whatever worm that is, that was a worm, whatever that is, the drill worm, it was all like crazy and stuff. You probably would have tried harder on the graphics and on the maps and stuff, because you probably, probably need some huge maps for that. But yeah, the game overall, the story of the game was good. The most fair just sucks. But this game was an epic fail. But I'm gonna give you the um the uh story mode. And I'm I am playing on hard right now, so yeah. It's on hard, so I'm giving you like a hard, a hard difficulty walkthrough. And this game was pretty awesome. The story mode, man, I don't even know. This game was awesome because I used to own on this game. It was awesome because of that, but anyways, let's continue. So right now we gotta reach the reach the base. Gotta reach the base before it times out. And I hate when this happens. The driving feels so loose. It don't really feel like a car. It's like when you try to turn and get it's like loose. I don't like it. It's supposed to be tight, like an actual car. So like Revenge of the Fallen, the story mode of Revenge of the Fallen uh, versus this story mode, I really like this story mode better than Revenge of the Fallen, but Re Revenge of the Fallen has some good graphics and it's not so perfect. This game is just, uh, the story mode was good. But I wish they would have gave us more characters because me and the fans who had this game before Fall of Cybertron came out, they was asking about characters. Some people really wanted to play a Sentinel Prime, you know, with the rust cannon. They wanted to blow other players up with the rust cannon, make them rust. They wanted to get Will Jack, aka Q, on the Darker Moon movie. Or on this game, too, they call him Will Jack. They wanted to play as so many people, but they never did anything to this game. At least give it like three characters. They only gave us one, and that was Sideswipe. And that sucked. And they probably did that because Sideswipe was probably the only character in the story you can see. Then, then the main one. Oh yeah, Mirage too. Mirage, you could have Mirage in the story too. They could have at least gave us Air Raid or Silver Bolt or Break. Well, Breakaway is already. They could have gave us Air Raid, Silver Bolt, Will Jack. 
And yeah, they could they could have just gave us those and probably would have been happy and probably probably some characters before the movie came out. I mean, not before the movie came out. Some characters at, like during the movie, like the uh, records. And that would that would have been awesome. I would love the records. I would probably would have played as a uh, not Roll Buster. It's like the silent one, the one that barely talks. So what's his name? I forgot his name. I think it was Left 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 Foot. Yeah, I think it was Left Foot. But yeah, they're awesome. I would I would really love to play as the records. And the thing about it, the game really don't make sense to the movie because. The, only the scouts are able to hit stealth force mode actually so the stealth force mode was only made for scouts it was designed for scouts only the others didn't have it like iron high didn't have it ratchet didn't have it or optimus so it really didn't make sense for them to have it they should have made optimus optimus level a little bit better i i think they should have made his level better and like more longer because you like once you start off the his level you fighting a boss already so it's like you didn't even like travel through anything to get to the boss or anything but yeah and megatron's level is pretty okay but the best level the level i really love is mirage's level I mean, it feels like i'm playing transformers prime or something when i play mirage level and like on hard it's like the stealth force is like more op then when you use a, a your robot weapon, and I, that feels kind of weird. Cause your robot weapons should I can inflict more damage than your vehicle weapon. But then again, your vehicle weapon has rockets, and that can really hurt robots. So that kind of makes sense a bit, I think. But this game was awesome. I died a few times in this walkthrough, so <laughs> don't laugh at me, bro. I didn't play this game in a long time. And I forgot I had my sensitivity on 100 on the first game, so. And you gotta stay, like, you gotta stay, like, in cover, because when they jump you, like, when three robots shoot at you, you're automatically dead. Like, you will not survive. You gotta stay, in, oh, like, behind cover and stuff. And, like, with our highest level, I, I probably died a few times on there, too. It was barely covered there, especially when you uh, get overrun with ratchet in them. So it's pretty crazy. So this game was pretty awesome. Right here, I think I got killed. I think I was, nope, no, I didn't. I ran through that. I got lucky. <laughs> I think I died over here though. Took a lot for the plasma cannon to kill this one right here. I'm just spamming my weapon at him. Yeah, but this game is awesome. I think they could have did more to the movie. I think they really could have done more to the movie. Yeah, like more to the movie. Cause the thing about it, if you saw the way her Iron High died, that was pretty gay. He didn't react or nothing. He just stand at like a retard while sitting just blasting through the chest. Now everyone knows Iron High is better than that. Like Iron High, I mean Iron High is better than that. Like he's he he knows how to fight. So I know he heard what Sitna was saying behind him. He could have at least tried to fight back and then died. But no, he was standing there all stupid. But you no, know, that's what Michael Bay wanted. That's what he wanted. He wanted Iron High to stand there like a retard. But I think it would have been better if Iron High fought at the last part of the movie, like when they was in Detroit or whatever. If they fought there and blah blah blah, and Iron High dies because he tried to wrestle the scene, that would have made the movie a lot better. Because Iron High, he's made to destroy the sucker clans. That's his thing. He loves doing it, and he makes it look real awesome. And it seemed like Optimus really didn't care that Iron High died. He rolled in there looking around, looking all retarded, like. He didn't even say nothing about Iron High, you know. But he said something about Jazz. He didn't give him like a, like loyalty or anything. But I don't know. He was probably pissed off at the time. But the game was this game was pretty awesome. He should have did some like a little bit more things in there. 
and now like the new story i don't know how that's gonna fit in with this, like the other two transformers well the other three transformers i don't know how that's gonna fit in because actually it probably i don't know how that's gonna fit in with a new cast because bumblebee is gone if he's taking away all these characters and they was like the main thing are we gonna get what the Decepticons will, ha will have with these two characters, these new two main people they're putting in there? I really don't get it. Like, how, what's what he did for the Decepticons to ever come after them? Like, would it be the same thing? He picked up a car and, oh, look, it's a robot. Or something happened and they under protection of robots or something. I don't know. But I don't really know how it's gonna fit in with the story. Of the other three Transformers, but I heard it might be a little reboot. But Optimus will be coming back, though. Optimus will be coming back. But we all gonna miss Bumblebee and the rest of them. We still have some new characters in there. It really didn't make sense for you not putting the old characters in, because there's still new characters that need more development. Like Sam Whitley's girlfriend, that was her first time ever playing in the movie, so she needed more development too because they just started it. Like, they just started, just put her in there, and now she can't come back because Shia LaBeouf don't want to do Transformers no more, so. But she needs more development, right? I really don't get it, but. Oh well, that's how movie started off. No? You be in the movie so much that you get sick of it and you want to try new things. And I've died on this one a lot. <laughs> I killed that one. And it was three, and I was like, oh man. But this game was pretty good. And I hope Transformer 4 will be more awesome than human. Because I, I feel like Transformers 3 didn't. It had enough. Like, the human parts, it was so many of the human parts. But it was still a good movie, it was just too much human stuff. It was like human and robot, human and robot, human and robot. But the whole movie was focused on Sam and his girl, his new girlfriend, so... It was way focused on that. But I want to see what type of new robots they're going to put in here. And they got to put it, they got to put like a certain scout robot that's just like Bumblebee, but a little bit with a different personality. Like Bumblebee, he's like a caring type of robot. Like he cares about everything. He wants to protect the person he wants, you know. You know, like the person he cared for, the person he's been with for a long time, and that was Sam, you know. He's a sensitive robot. And like, make a like, like, make a character just like him. Like, pick a character that would do the same as him. But that can talk. But yeah. Everybody's gonna miss Bonby. Bonby was cool while well, yeah, it lasts. He was cool. But since we won't see him no more, that's gonna be a loss. But Bumblebee, he's pretty awesome, you know. Pretty awesome character. And this video is almost done, guys. So I'm going to let y'all enjoy the rest of this video. So guys, thanks for watching my vids. Please comment, subscribe, guys. Please help me out. I want to get sponsored someday. Someday. But yeah, please comment, subscribe. I hope you guys like this walkthrough. And I'm going to continue this. So thank you guys for watching my vids. And peace out.